Odele la Maranaia, a family story behind a bottle. Hi Paola, buongiorno, buongiorno. So tell me a little bit, how are you? Uh, welcome in San Gimignano, everybody. We are here in January. It's uh, not freezing because it's a sunny day, but you can tell yourself uh, we have San Gimignano all for ourselves. Is uh, is uh, nobody there at the moment? Uh, you're lucky. <laughs> but usually it's not like this. It's one of the most uh, uh, popular place to visit in Tuscany, and um, we are in the main square. This is the. Uh, the Duomo Square, and uh, which we have it behind, La Collegiata, and um, one of the few um, examples where you have the religious uh, area and the political center at the same time uh, next. And uh, this is uh, Palazzo del Podesta, this is how we used to call the mayor before, and the municipal palace practically, uh, Il Comune. And um, every time uh, a new mayor arrived, they added a new coat of arms on the facade. There were some of them are very beautiful, but the most beautiful work got stolen by Napoleon uh, in the 19th century. I was about and, to ask. <laughs> exactly. And this is a typical loggia that you have next. It's a loggiato in Italian. And um, we have uh, this medieval aspect because that's what San Gimignano is famous for is the most characteristic medieval 13th century village, uh, a top hill town known for his uh, family defensive towers, which were 72, as you know. Yes. There are two of them. Actually, you count them at three, four, all around here. A lot. And, <laughs> and the, they all used to belong to families. Um, yes but families that could afford to build them next where sure. they lived. So they slowly became a status uh, si. uh, to show you the wealth of the family. And I suggest uh, to visit the inside of the palazzo because um, uh, we have a, a beautiful maestà mm -hmm. that I would like to introduce. Si. After we will uh, go inside and we will uh, visit right all the museum, and uh, I'm very happy because today is my first time uh, to climb up the Torre Grossa. Uh, so I'm this very... Is, <laughs> exactly, this is uh, the, not, the only tower in San Gimignano not private, but it's a civil tower, uh, public, uh, which is the highest uh, of the whole village. We call it Torre Grossa, which is thick, but in reality is, um, uh, is the highest, uh, yes. not only the thickest. And there is a beautiful view as uh, we have a beautiful view from the La Rocca that we are going to see afterwards. And uh, there are at least three the towers that you can visit inside uh, in San Gimignano. And Torre Grossa, we have uh, Torre Salvucci and Campatelli family in uh, Via San Giovanni. Which this is, is very nice. Uh, exactly. So Paola, I've been here several times, but nobody explained me who is the guy above us. <laughs> Practically, he's the most important person because uh, he's uh, the same patron that gave the name to the village. He's actually G. Mignano in person. Ah. He was a bishop, that's why you have the bishop hat. Okay. And he was from Modena. Oh. On his way back from Rome, he stopped here, the legend says, and he saved the people and the village against the barbarian. Oh. They wanted to destroy everything and they wanted to thank him for what he did. And they named the village after him. He lost the both arm, otherwise he was uh, crossing his arms and holding the village. Ah, okay. uh, that's how the people used to recognize uh, the same patrons, uh, the one that protect the village in a visual way because uh, people, they used to read with their eyes uh, directly. And this is uh, in a terracotta, mm -hmm. but I would like to show you how he's uh, painted in different other corners of, uh, of the village. And you see it in San Gimignano and uh, Saint uh, and Santa Fina. Si. Um, 
as well as the St. Catharines, uh, which is from Siena, so the same patrons that you see them everywhere in this, uh, in this province uh, where we are. And now I suggest to show you a Florentine uh, painter ah, that okay. came uh, kind of um, uh, the fo foreigners at that time was and the name is Domenico Ghirlandaio. Okay, let's go. <laughs> 